Hey guys, so I want to talk to you about circles. So with a circle, you have a central angle, which goes through the center of the circle and equals the arc. So if this is my circle and that's my center, this radius and that radius equal a 90 degree angle. So if my angle is 90 degrees, my arc is also gonna be 90. If you have an inscribed angle, it goes from the edge of the circle and is half of the arc. So here's my circle and this, this is my center and this is my inscribed angle. If that inner angle is 20 degrees, then that arc is 40 degrees. Okay. Then you have tangent. A tangent touches the outer edge of the circle and forms a 90 degree angle through the center and the outer angle is half of the inner angle. So, this is my circle. These lines are tangents, and from the center to the tangent, that line with the radius forms 90 degree angles, okay? This inner angle is 120 degrees, which means this outer angle is half of that, which is 60. So, and I wrote that wrong. There you go. Okay. Okay. So then we also have secant. And a secant, a secant goes through the inner edges of a circle and forms an outer angle. So if this is my circle... That's a secant line. That's a secant line. I've got two arcs and I've got my angle. Well, to find out angle X, I take the biggest arc minus the smallest arc and I divide it by two to get the measure of that outer angle. So 40, which is my bigger one, minus 20, which is my smaller one, divided by two. Well, 40 minus 20 is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Also, you'll see where you'll have these line segments given to you and you'll have an X or a Y. So that formula would be AB times B is equal to CD times D, which I've done here. So if AB is 2 and B is 4, you see that there, and if CD is 3 and D is Y, you see that there, and you would solve for Y. How you would do that is you would do your PEMDAS, so your parentheses would be 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24, and then for this, you would use um, distribute, distributive property. So you would end up with 3Y, plus y times y would be 2y combine and solve for y using your addition, subtraction, and all that, okay?